Hey guys and welcome back to the part 2 of the Wally modelling series. Um, in the next following parts I decided we're going to do something more exciting than low poly blocking. So in the next couple of parts what we're going to be creating is Wally's head. That should look something like this once we complete it. So as you can tell it looks pretty good. Um, so this is what we're going to start doing and hopefully by the next couple, end of the next couple of parts we should end up something that looking like this and then after that we're going to start adding detail to the body and then finally create the thread. So if I just delete this and turn off my block because we don't need this because we're going to create it together. Yay! And then if I turn everything back on, I don't need this group, I don't need that group, that's our block. I'm just going to center the pivot on that one and then we're going to start modeling the head. So I'm going to get rid of these layers as well, just so it's not there to confuse us. That's our references. And we're going to turn the block off because we don't need it. So the way we're going to do um, the eyes is fairly, we're going to do it the simplest way. So we don't start getting confused in that. And like coming back to the first part again, as you can, uh, like I said, just try to see the simple shapes within the complicated shape. So with this one, the closest shape that we're going to start by is a square. Um, and then we're going to just add more divisions to it and more detail and then smooth it and then hopefully it will look pretty good. So what we're going to do is create a cube first of all. So I'm just going to drag out a cube like so. Drag to set up the height. So I'm just going to come in here and set the height. And I'm just going to move it where it should be sitting. About here. Like so. I'm going to go back into my front view. I'm going to move this over and it's probably not going to be that thick for now like so and what we're going to do is go into our input and turn up the subdivision width to 6 and we're also going to turn up the subdivision depth to 6 so you got some detail to work with and then <clears throat> we're going to start moving these points around okay so the first thing I'm going to do is rotate this just so it roughly fits our Wally head, I'm going to move it roughly in the middle and then we're going to start moving points around okay so I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to grab this first point and we're just going to start dragging them around okay so fairly simple nothing complicated using basic tools again so I'm just selecting moving points about just to get the things that I need like so, and we might gonna need some more detail around here. So I'm just gonna spread out these points a bit more. Like so. So we're just trying to block out the rough shape. I'm gonna turn on X-ray again. So I see what I'm doing. Okay. Trying to get the curve slowing a little bit better. So once we smooth it, we'll get a better result. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to carry on. And obviously, around this curve. Try to make sure that the edge is flowing together pretty well. Don't worry too much about the inside edges, we're going to move them around as well to give a nice edge flow later on. Like so. So now we've got the inside bits blocked out pretty well. We're going to start moving the inner edges around a bit more. So that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to start moving these edges around on the inside. 
just so we get a better edge flow. So I'm going to try to get this edge to follow this curve roughly. So it meets up somewhere in the middle here with that edge. It's just so once we smooth it, we'll get a better result, hopefully. And we'll have a nice edge flow going on. So again, I'm going to do the same with these. And that's looking all right. Ish. Might move these up just a tad. It's a bit tedious, but oh well, modeling is so hopefully we're gonna have a pretty good result by the end. You gotta make sure that you're selecting with the marquee select and not just clicking on the points because this way you're selecting the edges on the side as well, which is gonna be fairly important because you don't wanna work just on one side. Well, you could and then just mirror it over, but in this scenario, it would be quite pointless not to do both sides. So now that's looking fairly okay. I'm just going to turn on my x-ray and look at how it's looking and then if we select the object and press free we'll see how it smooths roughly. Now obviously because we don't have some supporting edges on the side as you can tell it smooths the whole thing into a little block so now what we're going to do is add some supporting edges in there so it will look a little bit better but first I'm just gonna move some more of these words about just to get a little bit better edge flow so that's floating pretty good that's flowing all right just gonna strain this out a little bit I'm gonna move these down just a tad like so Move these up a little bit. Like so. And these ones are okay. So now that we've done that, uh, we can add in the supporting edges. So I'm just gonna go tear off my edit mesh tab again. And we're gonna go and select insert edge loop tool and we're gonna add an edge loop in here. And we're also going to add an edge loop at the back. And now if we smooth it, it will smooth a little bit better, as you can tell. Now we're also going to need an edge loop on the inside. And the way we're going to do that is select all of these faces. So I'm just going to go into my front view, select everything, and then go into my side view. Hold down shift, deselect the back. And I think you're also going to have to deselect those. So I'm just going to go into my side view, hold down shift, and hold down shift again to deselect those back ones. And now we only have the front faces selected. So what we're going to do next is hit extrude. And if you come down here and turn down the offset just a little bit, and I'm going to turn down my sensitivity a little bit. And we're just going to offset it just a tad, like so. And that way it will hold the edge a little bit better. But if I look at my reference image, this bit is going to be a further back, bit back. So I'm just going to guess it. If I go into my front view, turn X-ray on. So you can tell it's somewhere about there, roughly. So now that I've done that, we're just going to hit extrude again. 
and going to go into my side view and if I turn x-ray on you're going to drag this in to about there roughly and then I'm just going to go back into my perspective mode have a look at it I'll probably drag it in even a little bit more like so and now that we got that sorted before we do anything else we're going to extrude this again and go back to our offset and just turn it a tiny bit because what I'm trying to get is another edge loop going around on the inside just so when we smooth it it's going to hold that shape like so okay now if I go into my edge loop tool again insert edge loop and we're going to have to insert an edge loop in here also in here so you're going to hold that edge a lot better and we're also going to have to insert an edge loop on the inside going around like so and also on the bottom here okay and this will this will basically tell the smooth how much to smooth so the smooth is going to smooth this edge from here to here okay that's what we're doing so now that I got that we're going to leave the back for now I'm going to go into my object mode press 3 on my keyboard to smooth it and as you can tell we're getting a pretty good result and everything is nice and smooth the edges are holding their shape quite nicely we got a, li a tiny little bit of a bump here so we might go back in here just go into my front view and have a look at that which is going to be these verts here so I'm just going to go into my vertex mode select those and just curve it out a little bit better just so once we smooth it we're going to hold better like so and now if we have a look at it that's looking a little bit nicer so if you see anything that you don't like now then you better fix it like I just did if you get little bumps and so on well so far it's looking good to me so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to cut in our eye um, we could do it with a boolean but we're not gonna use booleans because they are very unstable and they break things very often so we're just gonna do it manually which is a lot more tedious it's a lot more time but it is reliable and um, it lets us do what we want even though it takes a lot longer but it is reliable so it's not gonna break our mesh and so on so hopefully it will look pretty good um, the first thing we're gonna do though is before that we're just gonna create this rim for the eye and to do that we're just going to create a cylinder and I'm just going to click in the middle and drag it out roughly and drag to set the height I'm just going to drag it randomly drag to edit thickness so I'm just going to go with something like that I'm just going to position it and obviously what we're going to have to do is move it and also add some edge loops so it will hold its shape so if I just come in here, select my insert edge loop tool and we're going to start adding some edges in here just so we're going to hold its shape like so and one here and one on the inside as well like so we're not going to worry about the back because that's not going to be seen so now if I go to my object mode like that and press 3 as you can tell we got a very nice smooth rim going around if I just move this as well and go into my front view turn x-ray on make sure that it's looking pretty good and it is uh, yep it's looking good and in here you can also still turn the thickness around I think um, so yeah you can make it thicker or thinner just going to make it a little bit thicker, move it back where it should be. 
turn the x-ray off, put it where it should be, should be out a little bit but not too much, like so. And then the next thing we're going to have to do is cut a hole in here um, and that's what we're going to do in the next part, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.